class 4 IMO level 2. Mathematics question number 16. How many of the following letters have parallel lines? Here, all of the letters have parallel lines. Mathematics question number 17. How many more triangles should be shaded so that the given figure has 2 by 3 as shaded fraction? Here, the number of triangles in the given figure is equal to 12 and number of shaded triangles is equal to 4 and the fraction of the shaded triangles is equal to 4 by 12. Let us find the equivalent fraction of 2 by 3. Let us multiply both numerator and denominator by 4 so that we will get the denominator as 12. If we do that, we will get 8 by 12 as the equivalent fraction. In order to get 2 by 3 as shaded fraction, we have to shade 4 more triangles. Mathematics question number 18. What will you get if you round off the greatest 5 digit even number nearest hundreds? The greatest 5 digit even number is 99,998. And the greatest 5 digit even number rounded off to the nearest hundreds is equal, is equal to 1 lakh. Mathematics question number 19. Study the given picture carefully and answer the following questions. The length of the stapler and fork together is dash symbol longer than the length of the chopsticks. First we will find out the length of each thing. The length of the stapler is 4 symbols. The length of the fork is 5 symbols. And the stapler and fork together is 9 symbols. And the length of the chopsticks is 7 symbols. The length of the stapler and fork together is, is 2 symbols longer than the length of the chopstick. Mathematics question number 20. The given clock shows the time at which Shuhani started and finished the lunch. How much time did she take to finish the lunch? Suhani started her lunch at 1.10 and Suhani finished her lunch at 1.45. So, in order to find the time taken by her to finish, we have to subtract the starting time and the finishing time, which is equal to 35 minutes. Mathematics question number 21. During the kite festival, a shopkeeper bought 3,750 kites. If there are 15 kites in a box, then how many boxes did the shopkeeper buy? In order to find how many boxes the shopkeeper bought, total kites divided by number of kites in one box, which is equal to 250. Mathematics question number 22. How many prime numbers are there between 10 and 35? There are 7 prime numbers between these numbers. Mathematics question number 23. Which of the following options shows the equivalent fraction of the sum of 1 by 5 and 3 by 10? The sum of 1 by 5 and 3 by 10 taking 10 as the LCM would be 5 by 10. In order to find the equivalent fraction of 5 by 10, we have to multiply 3 with numerator and denominator. If we do that, we will get 15 by 30. Another way that we can do this is we can reduce 5 by 10 as 1 by 2 and in option 15 by 30 it can also be reduced as 1 by 2. Mathematics question number 24. Raghav goes to his office daily by his bike through different routes. The petrol used on different days of a week are given in the table. How much petrol was used on Wednesday if he used 2 liters of petrol in the given 6 days? Given total petrol he used is equal to 2 liters which is equal to 2000 ml. If we add the total petrol leaving Wednesday, we will get 1540. And to find out Wednesday, we have to subtract 1540 from the total petrol used, which is equal to 460 ml. So he spent 460 ml on Wednesday. Mathematics question number 25. Read the given statements carefully and select the correct option. The greatest one digit prime number is 9. The greatest one digit prime number is 7. LCM of two prime numbers is always their product. Yes, that is true. Mathematics question number 26. Find the difference between the greatest 5 digit and smallest 5 digit numbers formed from the digits 0, 2, 3, 5 and 8 using each digit only once. The greatest 5 digit number is 85,320 and the smallest 5 digit number is 20,358. 
and the difference between these two numbers is equal to 64,962. Mathematics question number 27. If two raincoats plus one umbrella is equal to 950 rupees and three umbrellas is equal to 750 rupees, find the cost of raincoat. We can take raincoat as RC and umbrella as U. Given 2RC plus U is equal to 950, we can take this as equation 1. 3U is equal to 750, that is equation 2. In order to find the value of U, we have to divide 750 by 3. If we do that, we'll get 250. So U is equal to 250. And substituting the value of U in equation 1, we get 2RC plus 250, which is equal to 950. So RC is equal to 350. Mathematics question number 28. The following table shows the number of bulbs produced by, by four factories over a period of four months. How many bulbs did factory U produce in these four months? In order to find how many bulbs factory U produced, we have to add how many bulbs factory U produced from May to August. If we do that, we'll get 7,831. How many more bulbs did factory V produce than factory Y in May and June together? Number of bulbs factory V produced in May and June is equal to 3647. And for factory W, we will get 2217. In order to find how many more bulbs factory V produced than factory W, we have to subtract 3647 and 2217. If we do that, we'll get 1,430. So factory V produced 1,430 more bulbs than factory W. Mathematics question number 30. Select the correct option. A. Two fractions are said to be equivalent if they have the same denominators. No. If they have the same denominators, it is called a like fraction. Equivalent fractions are the fractions that have different numerators and denominators but are equal to the same value. B. 5 by 15 and 20 by 60 are equivalent fraction. Yes, that is true. If we divide the numerator and denominator by 5, we will get 1 by 3. For 20 by 60, if we divide the numerator and denominator by 20, we will get 1 by 3. So, these are equivalent fractions. So, the answer is B. That's it for this video. Make sure to subscribe. Hit that like button and turn on post notifications so that you guys know I'm on a video that I upload. And I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.